Laravel has a lot of classes that are used to, to use on your projects, right? And those classes, they have a lot of methods and a lot of features that allows you to develop your functionalities. So how can Laravel handle the fact that if you are missing a functionality, but you'd like to add it to the core libraries that Laravel has? So let's give an example, a practical example. You're using the collection class to you know execute your class your collection operations but suddenly you detect that there is a method that you would like to have there and it doesn't exist and you know how to code that up but you know you would like to attach it to the collection so then you can use it anywhere in your code so to achieve this objective that is basically to you know to put a piece of functionality in a part of laravel that it doesn't exist laravel has something called macros so macros basically are pieces of code that you write that it gets attached to a specific class in this case for instance on this example we can go for the for the collection class because it's a, a good example to show to you you can use on a lot of classes in laravel as soon as that class has the macro ball traits so let me go here to the vendor laravel and for instance let me just make a search like use macro ball and here, as you can see, all of these classes, repository, command, event, factory builder, you know, blueprint, mailer, for instance, they all use this use markable. So it means that they can be extended with macros that you will put there, basically an additional method that you will create. And from there on, you can call it wherever you want on your web application. So how do we create these macros? So let me give an example. On, imagine that you have a collection, you're working on a collection and suddenly detect that you're missing like a left method that will return, for instance, the first N items on a, on a collection. Uh, so it's just like a left uh, and you don't have it now, right now and you want to create it to, to then use it, right? So how do you configure that macro how where do you write it and then how do you use it so let's see a very quick example on this part so i'm going here to the app providers app service provider and i'm going to register here my macro to then be used on my web application so to do that uh, i go to the method boots for instance on my app service provider again you can do this anywhere in your code on your classes as soon as you run this code, Laravel starts using that extra method on the on that um, Laravel class. Or uh, if you have a custom class that uses MacroBall, you can also attach uh, the, on the same way. So I just write collection. On my case, it's the collection that I want to add uh, this extra method, and I call it. So you call the uh, static method called macro, and then I'm going to write a name for it. So I'm going to say, okay, the name for it is left. And the second argument, you pass exactly your closure. So in this case, function. And I say, okay, I want to pass a number, right? So you're going to say like left five, left, left three, whatever. And you say, okay, I'm going to return a collection. And then you just write down the code here. So this is the code that is going to be executed inside the collection object that is instantiated. So I just want to return and then you put the same object, the same, um, the these here with the, with the slice. So I'm just going to do a slice like starting on index zero and then uh, returning the number uh, that I placed on the function. Okay. So uh, this is a very simple example that you have here. Um, as you can see, like I'm, I'm instantiating saying that for the collection, I want to record a new macro called left. And each time I call this static method left, I want this function to be executed. So uh, Laravel will look at it. It will execute this, this function using reflection. And then it will run down um, with the argument that I pass here. It will execute on the collection this code that I pass here. So this is nice. Let me just, again, put here, the um, in this case, the namespace on the top so we understand. And what I want to do now is I'm just going to do a command very quickly for you to see how it works. So uh, I'm just going to do an F5 here. I already have it done. So everything is running fine. Uh, this collection is being loaded on this app service provider. As you know, it's one of the default service providers that you can write your code on. So now I'm going to the routes, I don't know, console. And I'm just going to create a console command here. I'm just going to copy paste this one. 
and just change it. So I'll put here command test macro. Okay, just for us to test. And here we are, we are going to just to test the macro on the collection. So this is a quick way for us to execute it. So I'm going to write here, so I'm going to just return test and see if it works well. So I go here and I do PHP artisan, what is the name that I give to it? Test macro. So test macro. Uh, right sorry, let me just, uh, uh, sorry, in this case, I need to return this line because we need to show it on the as a line here. So test, let me just see if it runs. Uh, PHP artisan test macro test. Okay, very well. So now we are going to use our macro here. So in this case, I'm just going to do like, for instance, call. So here, like uh, call equals to collect. And then we pass here like, you know, like, uh, sorry, a and a b. Just going to put them here, and then I change them again. It's just for you to see how it works. A b c d g. Okay, so just some letters, right, on a on this one, and of course, if I do a return, or if I just do like a die dump of the of my collection, and I write it again, you see that it has here, right? Now, let's use our macro now. So in this case, we just call it left. So that's what I'm going to write it here. So dd just going to take this return. We don't need it right now. It's just for the sake of this exercise. So call, and how do we use it now? Well, it is exactly the same way where you will call any collection that you want to have it, right? So you can just apply left three. And as you can see, it just shows the three that I'm saying. A uh, sorry, A, B, uh, C, D, and as you can see again, A, B, and C. So this is an example how macros work. Again, um, it's very, very useful uh, in terms of your code. You can register as much macros as you want uh, here. Uh, in this case, you all, you, it, well, it's a good practice to, to register the macros in your service provider like I just did it here and as, ex as an example and you can use any class that has the trait macro ball so more and more in the versions of Laravel uh, Taylor is placing more and more macro ball traits on the classes so people can uh, the Laravel community can uh, of course expand them with the custom methods that you want to use again you pass the name of the methods and then you pass your closure about the function that you want to execute and in this case, just a, a number so you to see, and then a slice zero number to give the left. And then you can use it anywhere on your code to, you know, just just execute it exactly as you want. And then, of course, uh, um, improve your collection base in this case, code base with this with this method. So I hope it helps, and uh, well, uh, have fun creating macros. See. Ya.